You guys, hello, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, local restaurant reviews. As Corey runs a yellow. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. We're very excited that you're here today. Beard and Belly, they have a bunch of different burgers on this menu, and we found a way to actually pick two of them. It was very difficult, but today we're glad you're here. Glad you're here for a food review, burger time. Yeah, and uh, also this week is the last week, so really it's only a few more days that you're gonna be able to get the Eat It Bit shirt, which we brought back from the dead. Uh, only available to Patreon members. They're the ones who vo voted it back to life, and they're the ones who are given access to it. This is our little thank you to all of our patreon people who have just been like a massive 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 support to the channel for so long we want to give you guys something special and so this is it and if you want to join that club uh, go for it it's uh, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese and you'll be able to get yourself a little uh, eat a bit shirt all right let's eat some cow on a quest to try every burger in the city. Let's knock another one off the list. Beard and Belly, in that bag, acquired Jump Cut. All right, it's probably your favorite part of the whole web series. It's called the Corey Wagner Second Angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, you know what? Let me grab a plate and yank this bad boy out. You know what? Okay. Here we go, just fucking. Um. Okay, so what we've got here, this is their Beard Burger. It's two four ounce patties of their specialty beef blend. Uh, butter case, which I've never heard, they just call it fancy cheese. Uh, bacon, caramelized onions, thick sliced pickles, barbecue sauce, and tomato jam all up in there. It looks incredible. It does look really good. Better be good, it's a $20 burger. Yeah. And then I just went super simple. I did the burger, which I think is just kind of like, you know, their flagship one. And this is no, no frills, it's just two four ounce patties, it's that cheese, and then there's awesome sauce, which is like their house sauce, and then pickles. So, nothing wild, I just, I just wanted the simple Sally today. Beard and belly. Cheers. Cheers. Oh boy. First yeah. bite this is a damn good burger. Meat is great. The first thing I noticed is how unique the bun is. It looks like it's like homemade. It's got like that. Now I don't know anything about food, so bear with me. It's mm. got more of like a texture to it, like a powderiness. You know what I mean? Like you can feel. Mm -hmm. What is it when buns are like that? It's not brioche. There's like this is a different kind of bun. Wow, it's, it, maybe because this was attached to a bakery. I bet they baked these damn buns, huh? Yeah, I remember like about. 30 seconds ago when I said homemade. <laughs> oh, you mean like made there? Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, this is really good and actually pretty damn unique. Yeah, oh my God. Mm. The bacon on here is legit. That looks like damn good bacon. This is really good. You come? <laughs> A little bit. Oh my God. This is damn good. I like how different it is. A lot of the smash burgers we've have are really good. Like last week, Levitt Streets was amazing, but it's truly so different than this. Like this is like kind of standing out to me is very different. I don't think they consider it a smash burger. Mm. Damn, this wow. is so good. It's a real meaty sucker. This cheese is really good. The um, the onions on here are very good. One of my pet peeves on burgers is when pickles mm. are too thick and you just get that big wet pickle taste. I love how thin these picks are. Huh? Oh, I got thick boys. Oh, they're thin. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, I don't like that as much as the thin ones. Not bad, it's just not. Mm. I don't like a real watery vegetable on a burger. I feel you. I feel you. It is great. Now, mine was also pretty high up there. 16. $16 and the chips come with it. Mm. Wow. Another fried bun. Oh yeah, they throw it on there. Fried edges. Mm -hmm. I was telling Corey off camera before we got here, God, I never see butter case used on burgers. I'm I'm here for that. Like keep doing that world. You know what? I'm gonna do a little sicker sauce. Great idea. I, I think got, I'm almost done I got eating. you boo. Let me wipe my hands off. I'm also gonna put sicker sauce on it. It's gonna make it even better. The only Literally my only gripe with this, other than it being a little expensive, it's a little dry. Like I could see that. Mine could use a little more of that awesome sauce. Yeah. And it doesn't have oh, a lot wow. of- Yeah, you so didn't like, get enough awesome sauce. No, I didn't. And it comes with this garlic, like this is like for the- uh, For the fries, for right? For the chips and the fries. So I don't, you're not really supposed to probably- Right, it's not meant for the burger. But when you do a food review show, and or if you're just a really good person, a smart person, and when you go to restaurants, you bring your own condiments, mm. you can solve problems right away. Damn, that six sauce doesn't make everything better. On a burger, it's like really next level. I even like, there's like tomato jam on this, I think. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting a sweetness, it's pretty good. That's probably the Corey Wagner favorite way to consume tomatoes is in a tomato jam. Oh yeah. <laughs> can you turn my tomatoes into sugar, please? <laughs> That's funny. 
I'm, uh, I don't know, like this is like, I think one of my favorite burgers I've had like this year. Really? Yeah, I don't know, there's something about it. I like the grittiness of it. It's really meaty and like the ground beef is just so well done. I don't know, man, I'm really digging this a lot. Mine's really good, but it's not one of my favorites that I've had in a while. I like a little butter case. It's really good, but it's not quite in the great category. Like the Levitt Street's way better than this. That was damn good. For some reason, this is speaking to me. You know, I also didn't get that one. I kind of wish I would've got that one because that awesome sauce sounds great. Yeah. And I really wanted it for the bacon for this. This bacon was good, but I think that's what, I have a slight smoky flavor that I'm getting that, you know, I don't dig. Yeah. I wonder if it's from the bacon. What is this, garlic mayo? Looks very mm. coagulated. Oh God, that's like really thick. <laughs> yeah, I think the bacon's a little smoky maybe. Damn, and that's the one thing that's taking it off. Yeah, that mayo. Mayo's great, these chips are good. Like, that is homemade, homemade chips. Bro. Homemade chips. I used to, when I was growing up, I hated that. Like when they would do that instead of fries. Mm, now yeah. I've kind of actually grown to like it. What was I gonna tell you? I have a story to tell you about last weekend. Oh, I saw a door get hit off. Of a car? Uber. Opened it into oncoming traffic and it was at the Laugh Factory. Mm -hmm. And there was a line for the next show. How embarrassing. It's Everyone so just goes, oh! Yeah. And then they tried to shut it and it was just like, great. Oh, no. and everyone's like, oh, the and this lady, crowd, like, and her boyfriend's like, let's just go. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> that was embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Man, this mayo is addictive. I'm like afraid to eat too much of it because it's gonna go straight to my ass. All right, two more fries. This is, I mean, like, this is truly great. Like, I don't know what it is. This is the weirdest, goodest, <laughs> greatest burger. Man, like, that is so unique. Edgewater, I think one of the most slept on neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. I love Edgewater. Cost effective. Normally. This was $38. Yeah, oh, I was you... talking for rent. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. For a living, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good Cost culture. Effective. Good culture. Culture of foods. Like, it's a very, like, diverse neighborhood. So you get all kinds of great stuff. You're close to a lot of things. I gotta put this lid on this mayo ASAP. They're, you said they're connected to a bakery? That was a like honey pie? Something like that. They have some really good looking uh, baked goods in there. I bet. Do you have like a favorite baked good like in a place like that? You like cookies, brownies, like is there one thing that really calls you? Mmm. I like pies pretty good. Okay. But I'll do just about all of it. Yeah, really I'll do, do just about all of it, honestly. I'm not much of a chocolate unless it's brownie. My favorite thing is blondies. You ever had a blondie? Blondies? No, like what's a peanut, that? Peanut butter blondie. It's like a very thick, denser, I can not describe it. It's like almost like a brownie, but it's like not chocolate. They do them like right peanut butter, it. like and they're really soft. They got crisp outside. I had a little co-worker. They used to bring them in. She made them homemade, and she would bring them in for like work parties. Oh my god, I was like, I'm not a huge sweets guy, but I would just sit there and eat like half the tin, and then feel sick to my stomach after. It was so worth it. Wow, that. uh if you're in Edgewater, I think you should. Also, that whole menu was fire. I talked about it in the intro. They had all kinds of stuff. It was very tough to make a decision. There was a patty melt I really wanted. Looked great. You said those, uh, like those fries with the poutine uh, uh, short rib. Short rib. God dang. Like that's crazy. There was a grilled cheese. The whole menu looked great. I bet that place. That's another spot I want to run the menu. Yeah. Right. Man. Kind of wish I would've gotten yours. Mine was just, a, it was very good, but a touch too smoky for me to put it into the great category. I'm trying to do this now where we go to these places. I wanna to try to just always get the standard, what, what kind of built the place. Like the main burger, like yeah. it's called The Burger. I was like, I kind of like the real simple burgers. And if you do that well, I'm probably gonna be really excited about That's it. That's smart because sometimes you get distracted by like too much flash. Like, bacon, oh, I'm like, oh, bacon. But like, you know, that's like going for the hot chick and then it just turns out that she's got no personality. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Spot on analogy. Spot on analogy. All right, well, let's go ahead and rate it before, and guys, don't forget to stick around to the end of this video. We're gonna ask you a question so we can all comment yeah, and chat today. We've been forgetting that all week. All right, let's rate it uh, out of five. I'm trying to think of who, oh, you know who's got a really great beard and a really great belly? Nick Offerman. I knew it was gonna be Nick Offerman. That's wow. a great, great move. Out of five Nick Offermans, how many Nick Offermans do you give the $20 The Beard Burger, that was yours, right? Yep. Uh, with the bacon and the serrano peppers and the butter case, Corey. I think I made a big misplay here. I went for the hot chick with no personality. <laughs> or maybe just too much pat personality that's not for me. Because it had a lot and it was really good. Yeah. Um, except for I just was getting a smoky flavor that just turned me off. And I think I could have used more sauce. Like you had that special sauce on there. It wasn't enough of it, but yeah. You didn't have enough, but I don't think I had any sauce on mine. Oh, see, that sucks. You know what I mean? I yeah. think I was supposed to have barbecue sauce, I thought it said. But I don't think I got any on there. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Uh, either way, I didn't like the smokiness, and it was 20 bucks, which is a huge, big shame. Yeah. It still was good, but those two things, I just wish I would have known that it was like a smoky flavor and I wouldn't have gone with it. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go with a 3.3. Still, okay. I'm still giving respect that that's just a good burger. It just, it wasn't for me. Right. You guys heard me say a lot in that video. That was one of the more intriguing. They really stood out. I mean, it's a simple burger that was like the bun and the grittiness and the, and the way that was was great. It was a very meaty burger with not a lot of like. Because I said it was like drier. If you like those bites of like sometimes just a lot of ground beef, but it somehow is good. There's some places I'm like, I don't just want to bite into only beef and that's it. I want yeah. all of it. That is one of those burgers that like, for whatever reason, the simpler the better. My only critique is that it was a little dry and needed more of that sauce. But dude, like, I think you guys should get that. If you're in Edgewater, get the burger for $16. It's a little expensive for where it is because you're like eight miles north of downtown and it's still that expensive. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of points off for that, but I think you should get it. I'm gonna go four or five. I think that's a really fun one. All right guys, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys don't mind sharing it whenever you can, even if it's just telling your friends about it, it really does help a ton. We're trying to grow, grow, grow this audience and we need your guys' help with that. Um, for the question, What's your guys' favorite hamburger cheese maneuver? Yeah. I know it's a difficult one, but take some time, think about it, type it down on your little keyboard and hit enter until it goes on that little screen of ours. There's so many good answers. We're gonna be chatting with you, we're gonna be responding to you, and we're gonna put our own up on that beast. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled, and uh, excited to hear your thoughts, guys. You say Swiss, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, no one's I know wrong. my answer, and it's the right answer. Yeah, I know mine too, and if yours, yours is, is the same as me, then no, yours is wrong. Same. Wait, if mine is the same as yours, it's wrong? American. <laughs> <laughs> no, if yours is different, you're wrong. If you're the same, you're right. Oh, okay, yeah. Yours Isn't is I, that? That's your No. Answer. I was gonna say, you're boring, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us five days a week on this show. Go get that Eat A Bit shirt before it sells out. And we're taking it off the store and you're probably never gonna see it again. Quite possibly. Some of you, that's the only thing you don't have. And imagine dying and not owning that shirt and having your family go through your your dresser and going, what the hell is this? Eat it, bitch? Wait, if he was dying and didn't have it, how would they go through your dresser and find it? <laughs> All right, that doesn't make any sense. So imagine you get it, right? So this is what'll happen. Wait, no, die. no, don't give them the sad thing if they get it. We want them to get it, remember? Okay, imagine how cool you look if when you die and you own that shirt, your family's going through your dresser and they're like, Dad, look at this cool dude wearing a shirt that says, eat it, bitch, it's always good. That's got awesome, there. We dude. We got there, we got there. All right, we're gonna get out of this sweaty-ass car yeah, and go drink some hot, beers. Bro. See ya!